Welcome back to Back Road. Welcome back to Back Road Driver. Does that work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to Back Road Driver. I'm Brad Miser. I'm Sam Miser. And today we're going to take this 2018 and color match the hooks to some of the trim on the rest of the truck. By hooks, I mean tow hooks. A lot of your trucks have that. Um, you're going to see how we get those out. We've got a little trick on that. We're going to take a little shortcut and you'll see what we do. This is not a how-to video. This is a how we're doing it video. So don't be throwing hate in the comments about how you could do it better. You probably could. Go for it. Knock yourself out. So let's get to it. This is what the hooks look like before. They're kind of a shiny black. Not bad. They don't really stand out. So let's throw some red paint on them. You're going to go up underneath. There's two bolts holding these tow hooks on. And uh, one of them you can access from underneath. Um, on the back side, you can get a wrench in there. The other one is right here though. And uh, you've got to take all this plastic and everything off the bottom. There's probably 20 clips that are along through there and they're hard to get to. So I'm just going to drill a hole right here um, in the plastic so I can access the other uh, bolt, pull it out and pull the hook out this way and uh, not have to pull all that off. It's not going to hurt anything. Water can still get in there. So, no big deal. Come on over here and help me, Brad. <laughs> so, Sam's going to do pretty much all the work today. It's kind of like he does in every video, but not just 99% today. He's going to do 100% today. I clipped my uh, wing a little bit playing softball. I uh, almost got the kid out. I was playing with a bunch of women and kids, a few, a few other male adults, a uh, little fun, friendly family softball game, and um, went down to do a Jeter-like, uh, and I probably looked just like him, but did like a little Jeter-like charging the ball, picked it up with my bare hand, flipped it over, and was gonna slide on my chest like I used to do back in the glory days. But instead of sliding on my chest, I just uh, did a pile driver onto my shoulder, broke my collarbone, Flipped over and hit my butt. I thought I broke my hip. Um, so I'm laid up with the sling duty. And uh, it's been pretty painful. We're six days, seven days out now. But I'm laid up for a good six, they say six, seven, eight weeks. But I think we're going to get that done quicker. My wife's a physical therapist, so she's been doing some therapy on me to try to kind of get things to jump start on the healing. And I'm already doing a lot better. But my advice is to never ever break your collarbone. That's enough about that. I wanna show you my shirt. This says 2020 on it. That's a dumpster. And of course it's on fire because 2020 has been a dumpster fire so far. We're still making the best out of it, getting some things done on the truck. We've ordered a lot of parts um, for the rear of this truck, for the rear end and some gearing and some different things like that. Found a shop to do all the work. We're gonna do some exhaust work. We're gonna do, we're gonna get some things done. Um, new brake rotors, pads, new tires. We're gonna get a lot done while I'm down and can't drive. Um, but we'll do some, we'll show you everything we're doing to the truck as we go. Got the bolt out here in the back that you can see pretty easy. Uh, the other one is here in the front side of the air dam. Right here is where the bolt is it's right on the other side of this i'm going to take a hole saw and drill a hole right here so i can access the bolt the, let me say something the hole saw has to be as big as the there's like a built-in washer head on the bolt Show i'm that. going a little bigger than that so i've got room to get a wrench in there easily so it's got to be at least as big as this back end of the bolt to be able to get your socket or to get the bolt in there and then the socket in there. And we 
we just saved a good hour and a half. And we got a little hole, but we're not letting any additional water in because water already came in the front of the hook. So. Yeah, so you never see this, but now I can get the bolt out. And we'll get to eat lunch at a decent time. Didn't bring my impact again, but drill will work. If anybody's got a garage with air conditioning and will hold like six cars in it that they'd like to let us use, it'd be awesome. Uh -huh. Jokers are in there too. They're in there a good inch and a half. Yeah, and my the battery's done, so. You get to do it by hand. Yep. Here, let me jump down there and get that for you. <laughs> Booyah. Two bolts out. Boom. There's the hook. One down. We'll just paint the black hook portion all the way back a little bit, but we'll leave yeah. all that back in there black. When I say we, I mean Sam. Let's be honest. <laughs> We got both hooks out and um, you can tell when you pull them out they'll be dirty from about here back all this needs to be red we're gonna go past a little bit we're not gonna go too crazy I'm gonna start by scuffing them up a little bit I'm not gonna um, go, go crazy I'm not going down to metal or anything I'm just trying to get the surface a little rougher so paint sticks good What grits are you using and like, so you're going fine. This one's 150, but I'm going to be in real light on it. Uh, and then I've got, this is uh, actually like a, a, a thousand. So that's real fine. That knocks down any uh, scratches you're putting in it with this, but I'm being very light. I would have used like a 250 probably, but I didn't have it. If you're light with this, you'll be all right. sanded uh, so now I'm gonna clean them off with a little uh, goof off um, you can use alcohol or acetone or anything like that um, just, just help, us, help us bond a little better make sure all the grease and everything's off we'll blow this box off too we're gonna cut a little slit in the top of the box so that the hook will set down in there and we'll be able to paint all surfaces and if anything runs, it'll run to the part that we're not going to see. But we have a master painter with us here today. Sam Miser has quite a few years of painting experience, so no pressure. So we're going to cut, cut us a little spot. The benefit of using a tall box like this, and I mean, you probably don't have it laying around, but if you do, like this makes it a whole lot easier than if we need to move this. We've got, got them into something that we can pick up really easy and move instead of having to be careful and not scrap, you know, touch the surface. This way we can paint all surfaces instead of having it laid flat and having to flip it over. So we can paint faster. Like you can get the whole, a coat on the whole thing first. So show us what you got in the can. Um, cherry red engine enamel. He actually... Like we were gonna go buy some paint before we started and he actually It's had actually this, bright red. Bright red. Yep. He actually had this in his garage. It's crazy. Hmm. 
looking funny. We'll go with a light coat and come back with another. Oh, there's an eco beast. <laughs> that eco beast has its front air dam pulled off. We'll be doing a video about that here in a little bit. First coat's dry. Got a little nick. Uh, I didn't notice. I'm gonna sand on it a little bit. It's on the bottom side of the hook. Probably not gonna show anyway, but I'm just gonna knock it down a fuzz with some thousand grit. That first coat dried about 10 minutes, but we're in about 85 degrees, pretty dry sun. That's where we had, I guess I had dunk, put a ding in the hook already a little bit. I don't worry about it too much. It's on the bottom. You ain't gonna see it, so. Go for coat number two. There is a big difference between doing mods and filming doing mods. Filming mods takes a lot longer. Second coat's looking a thousand percent better already. Yep. I was a little, I guess I shouldn't have been worried. I doubted you, man. My bad. Doubt me, man. Dude, that was looking good. Comment below if you think this is a terrible idea and we should paint these hooks red. But you got to comment while you're watching the video before you see it on the truck. You got to comment right now. If you like this, go ahead and give this thing a thumbs up so that we can move up in the YouTube algorithm, build the channel. If you've not subscribed yet, I don't even know what you're thinking. That's crazy. Subscribers is how we build our channel. Like YouTube looks at how many we have and that's what they judge us by engagement on our video and subscribers so we need you to hit the button if you want us to keep modding this truck coat two down coat two down let's let it dry about 12 minutes while we wait 12 minutes between coats we come in and watch dd probably one of the best vlogs it's not always my cup of tea. I'm not always into the supercar stuff, but they do a great job, obviously. Over two million subscribers. If you hit that subscribe button, maybe I could get there one day. Second coat's dry. Here goes the third coat. Starting to look nice. You got a, a uh, murder hornet. Oh my God. It's a murder hornet. <laughs> 2020, guys. Good way. 2020. We got coronavirus, murder hornets, riots all over the country. Now I broke my collarbone, which only affects me and my wife and kids. That's a pretty big deal. Pretty good painting, Sam. Yeah. In case y'all didn't know, like, Sam started painting. How old were you? I've got a picture of me about four or five painting up panels from my dad's sign company. We'll tell you more stories about the old sign company someday. We, we've been around paint a lot, but Sam's really good at it. This, this coat's looking freaking sweet. Good thing about using enamel paint is you don't have to use a clear coat. When you don't use a clear coat and you need to touch up, it'll bond right back on, you know, hit it with just a light sandpaper. When we get a nick on these later, tape everything off, hit it with a little paint, it'll bond. And we don't have to worry about getting a clear coat off, putting paint on, putting a new clear coat back on. I think we look good. Make sure you get the very tops. So 
as soon as these dry, we'll get them on the truck. So we've got the hooks ready. Dry, about an hour and a half in the sun. Um, might take you a little longer. It's eight, mid eighties here today. So um, make sure they're good and dry. You don't wanna spend all that time and end up with fingerprints in them. But uh, we're ready to stick them back in there and bolt them back on. Let's do it. So it looks like it's going in upside down, but it's not. So it's weird. And you just kind of force it through the rubber. It disappears. Ready to line everything back up. Dude, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. They didn't come out real easy, did they? Not at all. And I do think you did the right thing by, you can see a little bit, and I know when he tightens it up you won't, but you can see a little red through there on the parts of the hook he did, like on the parts of the structural part that he painted, you can see a little red. I think that's gonna end up having been a good thing. This air dam that's all up in his way has been off of the truck, and it's gonna get modified in our next video. So we'll have it uh, showing up after this one you might want to check that out too all these little front front end mods or whatever doesn't they don't cost hardly anything some of them don't cost anything they make a big difference in the appearance that back bolt is a pain to get back in you gotta kind of use a something for leverage bar would probably be better so we got it fed back in it's like a um, clip nut in there but it's attached to the front and the back so the trick is is to start the front but don't run it in very far and then you can use that front um, bolt to manipulate the clip around to where you can get the one in the back started and once you got them both started you can tighten them down We've got the first hook on, learned a little trick or two, and I'll show you how he shoves this other one in. So, it goes in where it bolts flush on the frame, just has to wall her in there. And remember, this is not a how-to, this is a how we did, because we didn't take everything off. We got it caught. Yep. So both of them are caught on the uh, so on the clip nut now. So we can start tightening them down. Thanks for watching Backroad Driver today, guys. We hope you like this mod. Let us know in the comments what we should do next. We've got a lot already planned, but we definitely want to hear from you and know what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We don't really care if you like that. We were gonna do it anyway. That's my favorite color on this color. So if you don't like it, just shove it up your tailpipe. You don't like how I did it, I don't care. Shove it up your tailpipe. Yeah, shove it up your tailpipe. <laughs> that might be our new saying. If you don't like that, shove it up your tailpipe. Looks good to me. Yeah. Hey, looks good from my house. <laughs>